Okay, welcome back to the Underground Podcast, the number two podcast in the world. Obviously, followed behind uh, Impulsive, but you know, we take pride in that number two spot. You know, aiming to crown the, the podcast of kings on YouTube. Essentially, it's episode four, th- thirteen this time. I just got this right. Don't, I'm not, don't forget. I'm with it this time, alright? It's a Sunday, you're chilling, I'm chilling, I'm actually eating food as well. I've got these wraps, lovely wraps by, uh, made by my grandma actually, so cheers. Mm. We've got a few topics to talk about today, including update on Area 51. 16 year old kid wins Fortnite tournament. <laughs> Ninja leaves Twitch for $100 million, the, the F. And uh, the subscribers that I've gained recently from my new reaction video. Uh, as well as the YouTuber that I kicked the dog. Alright, uh, before we start anything, I just want to say, round of applause. Round, if you're watching this, give yourself a clap, pat on the back, whatever you want. The plant is, is staying alive. We said last episode that it was dying. As you can see, back to normal green. Literally, all I had to do, like, I'm, I'm, you could call me Einstein for this, but I, I watered it one day. Uh, two days, actually, in a row. And it just started going green now. It's, it's growing now. It soon will be a plant. Blossom into a plant, hopefully. I, I wonder, when, when I die... I would hope to be cremated into something like this. Let me look at it. Okay, sorry, we're getting a bit sidetracked. But anyway, update on Area 51. Uh, absolutely nothing. Like, literally nothing. September 20th is when it's happening. More memes. More chit-chat on Twitter, as usual. But will it happen? We're not sure. Do you know what? If you want to see me go to Area 51 on the 20th of September 2019... And raid, uh, there's nothing that will get me to do that, to be honest. There, there's literally nothing. I, I could not. Actually, do you know what? Like this video. Like this video, subscribe down below. Um, and also, do not, turn on my post notification bell on. And I, maybe I'll go to Area 51. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> um, a 16, I think it was 15 or I think I want to say 16 year old kid won the Fortnite World Cup tournament, ladies and gentlemen. And for the people who don't care, you're thinking, okay, what's so what what what's good with that then? What's fucking good is that he won three million dollars. Three as imagine being sixteen years old, yeah, and winning three million dollars to to basically play Fortnite and win a game. I don't think he won a game, but right, let me give him more credit. He, he won a whole tournament, but still, what's good? Like, there's people, like, I'm, I'm not being funny, there are people dying in the world, and we're giving 16-year-old kids that much money for winning the game. But do you know what, he probably has, he probably has some techers on, um, on Fortnite, probably, you know, stronger than build battles. He took the dub, so respect to you, fella. Don't blow all your money. Probably he's going to blow his money at 16, what can we say? <laughs> Next, Ninja leaves Twitch for $100 million. I'm sorry to make this all about money, but these are the big topics this week. It's actually been very monetary value. I just want to say, Ninja was good. You're becoming a footballer at this point. You're just selling yourself for money. <laughs> to be honest, I can't say anything. I would do the same thing in the situation. But I always saw Ninja as like the... He's, he's the Twitch god. All right? He's obviously a post on YouTube, but he, his main thing is Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. And I would have thought maybe Twitch would have put in another offer higher than 100 mil. But no, they just look like, see you later, Ninja. It's nice knowing you. Thanks, thanks for the dollars. Thanks for the views. Gone. And I think now, personally... Even though there is hundreds of thousands and millions of other people on Twitch, the numbers are going to drop quite significantly, I feel like. And I'm not even that big into gaming. Obviously, I was last year. I've done my Fortnite. That period is over. And that, oh, it was stressful. But for people like him, he's proper hardcore. One of the best players, as well as, you know, FaZe Tifu as well. To leave Twitch for 100 million, that's ridiculous. If there was another platform, I, for, I forgot what it's even called. But... You know, like, a hundred mil, what is he going to do with that? He's probably going to die and get, like, a hundred thousand dollar hair implant, let's be honest. He always changing his fucking hair. But you know what? Respect to him. The one thing I can say about Ninja, people do say that he sits in his room, m- room and plays games and gets millions. Facts. <laughs> Facts, but he he works his ass off. You know, right? He's on the grind, just like everyone else, just doing, staying in his own lane and doing... You know, gaming. But what I do want to see from him, a bit like how I've become, because I feel like it started with me almost as well, but I still done real life stuff years ago. But almost every YouTuber starts off by doing gaming. Because it's so sort of something like everyone likes games. As a kid, you just like games, you want to play games. But it gets to the point where if you're on YouTube, it just does it does get a bit boring. For me anyway, certain people will sit there's another fly are you fucking serious? There's another fly on the set. I say the set, we're in my kitchen. 
But yeah, it's just like it's you need to expand more than just a game. I understand people spend dedicate hours to watching Ninja versus Tifu battle, and you know you, that, that your, your night sorted. That that is a perfect for night night for you. Sit at home with your glasses on, eating Cheetos. Do you know I'm not assuming anything, but you probably have glasses and eat Cheetos if you watch. Fortnite videos and you're probably 12 too. <laughs> but no, do you know what? I'm not gonna even complain because I used to I used to watch Fortnite videos and it, it just got boring. I want to see these people have a personality. And Ninja, to be honest, is one of those people where he does have that personality. Like even in real life, like he's the type of person that can make vlogs. I've seen him. He made his put his first vlog out recently. Like he can do challenges. He can do TV stuff. Like he can do stuff with brands. He can't just do one thing. And I don't think he's the type of individual that was made to do one thing. Like at the end of the day. He's, yes, his main thing is gaming, he's stuck to that, and look how far he's gone. But we would like to see, let me know in the comments if you would as well, certain people like that, as well as Tfue and all this other game. This fly is pissing me off now. But yeah, uh, we would love to see them, you know, stay in their lane, but also, you know, explore different things. Get out of your comfort zone. Look at the, the trees. By the way, I've got some very good content. I, today has been the most productive Sunday. So Sunday while I'm filming this, I always film it on Sunday, because, you know, we're up to date on this bitch. But I filmed, I think about seven videos today. Sent uh, a few more, off, a few of them off to my editors. I'm happy. You've had a productive day. I hope you're having a productive day too. Next <coughs> segment uh, is this. We've got a new, we've got a new segment uh, in, in in the underground podcast because you said you, I would hear feedback from you. Let me know what I can do to improve this. But this is a new thing segment in the underground podcast called Story Time with Inzingi. Over to you. Right, so I'm just at a park at the moment. Somebody tell this is actually pissing me off now, right? So there's this gap there. As you can see, there's there's a rail in there with gaps and there's a football. I was just seeing if you could try to get the football between the gap. As you can see. The football fits in the gap. You see that? Goes in. But for some locking reason. Whenever I kick it in there, it's impossible to go in. I'll challenge anyone to come here. I'll give you 4.8 million pounds to try to get this in. Oh my God, I've done it. Okay, back to me. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I just really need to get back in uh, transitions. But anyway, as you can see there, not really sure what happened. It was frustra frustrating, but as soon as I managed to kick the, kick the ball in there, uh, as soon as I turned the camera on, I could do it. I like, was good. Anyway, next I want to talk about, the other day I uploaded a video, Dax and Emmyway reaction video. Just a reaction video, and it was, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It was insane. Dax, obviously American YouTube rapper, but not just YouTube rapper, sensational upcoming hip hop artist. Love all of his shit recently. Like he's one of those people I keep saying in my videos. He can call himself the best. So I done my reaction video on this. I'm just checking out how much he got. But I got a lot of subscribers. I probably gained over 50 subscribers just from that video. And growing. I'm on the other literally a couple of days ago. I was on eight. I just hit 800 subscribers, and I grow quite small, small as a small YouTuber does. I'm on 840 now. I was on like 790 something. I'm on 840 now. But the video, as it stands, is on 2,630 with 191 likes, only eight dislikes, which is the ratio is phenomenal. Loads of comments, and I want to say, India, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud of India because they came through. I mean, I know like the most populated, one of the most populated countries in the world, but what is good? Like they actually came through. They smashed the like button more than any of the you, anyone in the world does. Well, normally on ask, like I want you to smash the like button like India does. They go hard, right? They they go ham. I feel like the whole nation is actually watching me. Well, it's not because it's two thousand and they've got billions. But anyway, like I got so many comments. Most of people obviously were. Indian like people that like this anyway guy. This guy is basically the Indian rap god. He's phenomenal. I want to say that if you haven't listened to him, go listen to him. He's he's the shit. He's got literally got six over six million followers, subscribers on YouTube. That is crazy. Some of his music videos got over hundred mil. So he is the Drake, the Eminem, <coughs> whatever you want to call it, and his lyrics are good as well. 
of India. So, well done to you, my friend. The last thing I want to talk about, I've already I've made a video, so if you want to see the video, it's on my channel. It'll be here as well if you want to click the card too. But a YouTuber, not as I said, I'm not going to give credit to this female, female YouTuber, kicks and spits on her dog. What the fuck is good? I've, I've, like I said, I've already, I don't want to go too much on this topic, but just as it's been a big topic this week. First of all, I can't express this enough. You need to, if you're going into YouTube, yes, you've got to look good on camera. And obviously she didn't even mean to look that. But she, like what I've realised is you've just got to work on being a good human being first. Like doing what she did to her animals was unforgivable. Like it's just horrible, it's disgusting. I'm an animal lover as well. I've got my cat Vinny, I've had other pets in the past. I just love animals. And to do that to a living thing, she's treated it, kicked it, pushed it, all this stuff. I'm not going to show any video because I'll probably get demonetised. It's on Keemstar's Twitter if you want to see it. But it's disgusting. Honestly, like people, some people in this world treat and abuse animals as if they're like not even kids, just toys. And you should treat your animals as if they're your baby. Because at the end of the day, they are. You're, they're a living thing. Just like the, us, they have a face, they have emotions, they have feelings. They have, you know what I mean? They, 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 they're so close to human species. More than just like a twig, which is just like an, an atom, just, just an atom particle that's been made up of just, you know. But like, we really gotta like knuckle down on things like RSPCA, you know, all the do charities and donations uh, regarding like, just taking care of animals and stopping animal abuse. It's not right, like, it's disgusting. I, was, I saw the video, because I, I, I was wondering what, what she actually done. Because I thought, it, I thought it was a joke at first, because I was thinking there's no way someone's actually done this. I thought someone made a joke about kicking their dog. But to actually go ahead and do that, I don't even know why I'm still on Twitter. I wouldn't even say go watch it. If you're an animal lover, if you're easily, you know what I mean, like anything to do with, like, if you're easily offended by anything visually harmful, I would not recommend you go watch it. It's disgusting. I feel like she, she her channel does deserve to be terminated at the end of the day. Even though people say you need chances, there's, there's a line and she's definitely, she's definitely crossed that line. I do feel like it's one of those things where I, I, eventually she will get back into YouTube, just like other YouTubers have, and she will do a thing, but... But now that, that that is disgusting. That's been it for today today's podcast. It's been a short one, but you know what? I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it, even though the ending was not that very not quite nice. I'm gonna have another bite of my wrap, and that's a wrap. Get it? Because um, I actually need to eat my food. My food's getting cold. I'm working late, and so are you probably. Respect everyone. Subscribe, like the video, turn on. <coughs> You know what, this is, this is a disaster at this point. I mean, every episode is a disaster. Turn on that post notification bell. We need podcast host, co host We need guests. We need people. If you know anyone, please reach out to me. Uh, obviously, we've got an editor at the moment. I'm looking for a cameraman as well. So if you know any people, please get in touch with me via Twitter, Instagram, all the big things, Facebook, Snapchat. Comment down below even. I want to know what you think about this episode. Do you think this was, did it help you at all? Did it make you think? Did it make you smile, laugh? I don't even know if I'm funny. I'm tired now. I'm signing out. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Now your vids hold no weight like Titanic channel sinking to the ground Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on your enemies, dead and buried in the ground Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around Put some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate or this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown